Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm gonna talk about. That's probably the reason why you clicked on this video. I am going to show you what I got my kids for Christmas so far. I am not done Christmas shopping, but I have gotten a head start and I wanted to show you what I got already. I'm still in the process of figuring out what else I'll get them. I still need to go over everything I got and figure out, you know, who, need, who needs what. But I wanted to give you some gift ideas because I know that all these Black Friday sales are all popping up now all of a sudden it's only the middle of November and they're already showing up so just in case you need some ideas already going into Black Friday one of my biggest tips I feel like is if you already kind of know what you're looking for for your kids definitely check out the prices right now before things go on sale because I feel like oftentimes even if they go on sale they may not actually be on sale does that make sense I've actually come across sales where they were not cheaper than it was before. And so I feel like you have to like outsmart the system at this point. I do wish I had more of a cute Christmassy background for you, but like I said, it's the middle of November. I have not decorated for Christmas yet. And honestly, I'm not sure how choppy this video is gonna be. I hope it's not gonna be choppy at all. But in reality, I am currently filming this with all three of my kids at home. I am a stay at home mom of three kids and I'm currently pregnant. With that being said, I have them at home with me all the time, and so I don't have a lot of um, times where I can film uninterrupted. And with talking about this subject of what I got them for Christmas, obviously I'm gonna have to stop talking about it if they if they come show up. Right now they're playing outside, so that's why I'm trying to get this filmed for you guys. So bear with me, I'm going to try to keep this organized and I'm gonna try to have prices out for you. But a lot of the things that I bought this time around for the kids for Christmas, I actually just bought at a um, children's resale. And so I didn't buy it at full price. And I'm, I'll go into that when I show you the items. So jumping right into it, I will start with my youngest son. He is two and honestly, probably the easiest one to shop for right now. One thing that I just came across on the internet not too long ago that I had no idea existed was this RC, like this remote control tractor. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you would know that my boys are obsessed with tractors and stuff because, you know, their daddy does farm work. But um, to have one that would be remote control, I know that they would just go ballistic. So when I saw this, I'm like, okay, I'm keeping an eye on it. And I did. And then when I saw that it got marked down in price, I snagged one of those. So I don't know how the quality is going to be. It looks like it had decent reviews. It's one of those toys you just don't know how long it's going to last, especially for a two-year-old boy. But I know that as long as it's working and it's around, he's going to love the heck out of it. Several weeks back, I came across a deal on magnet tiles on Amazon that was like super marked down. We have not bought magnet tiles or anything like that yet so I'm interested to see how my kids are going to play with them and if they're gonna enjoy it but so far I've heard everybody around me ranting and raving about them and so I do think that my kids will probably love it as well one thing that I'm hoping I can snag before Christmas is more magnet tiles but I'm hoping to be able to get the road set um, because my son well both my sons love driving vehicles and cars and stuff but my youngest son is obsessed with Hot Wheels and everything and so um, I think that if I could just find those magnet tiles with the road set for a good price he would go ballistic being able to create like a town and then also have the roadways that he can drive his vehicles on so that's a gift that I'm most likely going to wrap and give to all three of them I think I knew at first that I was thinking I'd give it to my two-year-old but honestly they're probably all going to love it. So the next thing that I got for my period was this stir and sort food court game. It apparently comes with a lot of different colored plastic foods and it comes with a little container and like a little tongs and it has little recipe cards and stuff and, and there's just many different ways you can play with this game. You can have them sort it just by color and put them in the color coded container. It just looks like it has a lot of different ways you can play with it and so I think that not only is my two-year-old going to love it but my five-year-old is going to love it as well. The next thing that I grabbed for my two-year-old was this hide and seek flip book. It is farm and tractor related, so I know he's going to be obsessed with that, but aside from that, he just always loves the books where you can lift the flaps because you never know what you're going to find under there. So I thought this one was a really cute one to add to his little collection. So the last thing that I believe that I grabbed for my two-year-old, which is also going to go to my seven-year-old, are a few Hot Wheels things. At this children's resale that I shopped not too long ago, they had a big Hot Wheels garage. 
and I've just always wanted to get one of those for my boys because they love playing with Hot Wheels and cars in general, but I know that it's a lot more fun when you have a garage or something you can drive and park your cars and all of that. I personally, when I was younger, loved Hot Wheels. I was super close with one of my cousins that was my age and him and I used to just play Hot Wheels all the time. You know when you have an interest in something and it's just so exciting when your kids are interested in it? That's how I feel when it comes to the Hot Wheels and like I'm loving that Xander loves Hot Wheels as much as he does. And I just think that with the big garage and I also got a container of a ton of tracks, I think that both my seven year old and my two year old are going to have fun being able to create um, a track and an obstacle course or whatever that can connect to the super garage um, and be able to play together. So to go along with that, at the resale, I also grabbed this multi-level garage. It has like a little fueling station on the top and um, a couple places to park the cars. But I thought that this would be a good addition to whenever they build their tracks or a little town or something. So jumping into what I got my five-year-old daughter, she is one that I feel like I definitely have to do a lot more shopping for. One thing that she's been wanting lately is a baby doll, but not just a baby doll, because she's got several baby dolls, but she wants one that is more real, she says. So when I was at the children's resale, I came across this Baby Alive doll. Apparently it even has like some food pouches and you can just make this baby like its own little mixer drink or something or a smoothie or something and feed it to the baby and this baby is supposed to wear diapers. I know I've heard some things about Baby Alive babies but I don't know a whole lot about them. But what I was really excited about too was that I found a box of the Baby Alive diapers at the resale as well and so it was a fraction of the price opposed to buying them brand new. Like, man, I'm already buying diapers for my own babies. It's hard for me to buy diapers for fake babies. <laughs> this is another item that I bought weeks ago. There was a really good sale on it and I snagged it and knew it would be good for either her birthday or for Christmas. It's a bracelet making kit and it comes with a ton of things. Oh my gosh, this is something that I can see is gonna be a hit. The last thing that I got for her, which was also at this children's resale, was a set of stamps. They're like princess stamps. We do have like letter and number stamps here at home already, and she does like using those, but I know she'd have a lot of fun if she had stamps that had like pictures. And then I also snagged this set that is dinosaurs, which I know that my two-year-old is going to like playing with, and I think that my seven-year-old should enjoy it. So now we're kind of slowly growing our stamp collection. So that is everything that I got for my five-year-old daughter. I do need to do some shopping still for her. She has some different interests and so I still have to figure out like what I want to get her. So we'll see how that goes. I know as I start to buy more gifts for the kids, I will probably make another video and put that up there and try to give you guys some more ideas. But going right into what I got my seven-year-old son, the first thing that I saw at the resale and was like, okay, this is really cool and I have to get it, was this robot. I hadn't really heard anything about this type of robot before and I don't know what to expect. We'll see how it goes, but essentially it's a remote control robot that's supposed to have like touch response mode and remote control mode and like a voice interaction. We're gonna see how it goes, but my son has talked about wanting like a robot thing before. And so when I saw this, I'm like, okay, like I, I gotta get it. Especially if he can drive that remote control robot and then the two year old will drive the remote control tractor. I think that they'll have fun together. This is another item that I snagged months ago and it was on sale. It is an action Bible for boys. This is something I've wanted to get Jaden for a while and just haven't until now, but I think he's gonna love it. He did get a early reader's Bible last Christmas and he's flown through that Bible and I can just tell that he's sort of outgrown it at this point. So I wanted to get him this action Bible. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And because it's like a comic version of the Bible, I think that he's just gonna love it even more. And then it'll also be a little bit more challenging for him as he learns how to read. The next thing that I got for him is his 365 things to do with Lego bricks. My kids are big Lego fans and we have a lot of Legos, but sometimes they need just ideas on what to build and stuff. And so this book's cool because it has different things they can build, but also like challenges and such. So the last thing that I got for my seven-year-old son, which is another book, is this Minecraft Ideas book. 
I know that a lot of this looks advanced and he's probably not going to be able to create this in Minecraft but he does love playing the game and I know that just having this book will probably be really cool for him and help spark some ideas on what he would like to create so I think not only is he going to like trying to build things in Minecraft but he's also just going to love looking through this book. But that's all that I got my kids so far for Christmas. I will definitely make another video once I have gotten the rest of what I'm going to get them. I hope that this helps give you some ideas on what you would like to give your kids for Christmas. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll consider giving it a thumbs up as well as subscribing to our channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.